guys let's talk about the tinder swindler i don't know how many of you have seen that documentary it's a new documentary on netflix but it has been like a talk of the town some people are you know saying a lot of things about it and i felt like i want to share my own opinion i want to you know talk about the documentary too so i don't know if you've not seen it you should probably go and you know check it out before watching my video so you understand what i'm trying to say but anyways um before i jump right into it if this is your first time clicking on my video please do it to subscribe like and share and if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much i really appreciate you guys at the best yes yeah, so like i said in the beginning of this video we are talking about tinder swindler guys moving on please disclaimer i'm not telling you what i'm trying to say implies to everyone but this is just my own point of view number one um thing i noticed was like the first lady she, according to her what she said is oh she was going through um tinder that day and she was swiping through photos and then she saw simon's pictures simon is the guy which is the tinder swindler which everybody has been talking about so she saw his picture she saw the luxury life private jets and um, partying luxury cars and all that and she was like wow this guy has a cool lifestyle and she just you know liked his picture and swipe i think you swipe right if you like the person also and then they were a match okay fine you guys are a match immediately they match the both of you together he sends you a message i'm leaving london tomorrow do you want to meet for coffee and you just accept immediately like that like i don't know if you guys are understanding where i'm coming from because i think i said you know nigerian they used to say and hey, we nigerian girls we like money we like this but i don't think a nigerian girl will fall for that thing so easily like that i don't know you from anywhere i just swiped your picture and the next thing you're telling me um you're leaving london tomorrow we'll ask you we should meet for coffee fine if you want to know somebody you can't you don't even know my name you just oh, apart from what you're saying on tinder you don't ask me what's my name you don't ask me where i live you don't even ask me if i'm busy the next thing just says let's go out and you too you accept to meet up with the person just like that and i feel like these ladies that fell for these things they are gold diggers honestly if they ask me that's what i'm going to say these ladies are gold diggers because because you saw a luxury lifestyle because you won't tell me if they just see a regular guy like that and the guy invites them out they will just easily accept they'll want to be um let's let's take it slow but because you've seen private jets because you've seen luxury cars you know you now accept to go on a date okay fine she accepted like another thing i i was thinking is if this guy if for me or what i would think if i'm the lady in that situation somebody that claims to be a bologna son because when they met and the guy said he's the ceo or whatever of lld companies something like that lld diamonds yeah whatever he's the bologna son and all that how come a bologna son that should be busy is online immediately there was a match he sends you a message and immediately is available for a coffee like all this kind of thing should you know make you think twice about this person but you went ahead and you went on a date on the date the next thing he's telling you is um the both of you should travel you should go and pack your things like is that how jobless you are that somebody you just met today today is telling you pack your things let's travel and you're going okay fine after she left the restaurant and went to pack her things and all that she she was texting her friends that oh she's going on a private jet blah 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 and the friends were like what if this guy is a kidnapper and that's the truth what if this guy is a kidnapper you met somebody for the first time you don't know anybody around him you don't know anything about him you didn't even bother asking him a lot about himself you just let him tell you whatever he feels like telling you you didn't ask question you didn't bother telling him about yourself and the next thing you're traveling with him and you say oh you are traveling with his baby mama and you feel it's okay see i don't want to prolong this thing the next which I, I jotted them down because i don't want to make mistake okay my next point is when after they traveled and everything when he said oh his enemies are after him that's after they've been chatting i think for a few weeks or so he said his enemies are after him and they shot or they stabbed his friends sending pictures and all that so because of his um enemies that are after him he can't make use of his credit card if you can borrow him yours don't like if 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 
you have sense, you would think, how come a Bologna son is asking me for favor? Because this is a Bologna son for crying out loud. If you don't want to use your credit card, you can actually use your dad's credit card. You can use your mom's, you can use your friends, all the people that are around you that used to take pictures with, used to go on private jets with, all those people, they should have money. So why didn't you ask them for favor? Why is it me you're asking for favor? Because all these things are something we should look out for or it's something that should be looked out for if you're trying to know someone or you're trying to meet someone so i don't think the the guy was really wrong all these people that were saying uh they did wrong for letting the guy go the guy should be in jail the guy did not do anything wrong because one he didn't use anybody's face he did everything with his face he met you and you met him so whatever you did for him it was out of your own will he didn't point a gun to your head he didn't threaten you or anything it was just out of your own foolishness because how will somebody you just meet start telling you that he needs a favor from you and he's a bologna son for crying out loud so there are thousands and there are thousands of people that will be willing to help him so why you this is one question i would ask myself if i'm in that situation why me like of all the people or what if you didn't meet me will you die you will settle it so why not look for someone else but this one she went ahead you know gave him a credit card and the next thing he maxed it out just like that and you were like oh okay it's it's normal for him to you know spend that much since he's a billionaire son he has friends he goes on expensive trip you are seeing what they're using your credit card for just hotels um hotels fl booking of flights hotels booking of flights for different names and your brain did not click that what is going on this guy is traveling everywhere and he told you all oh, day you should take a loan and you so you stupidly went to take a loan the another part of it is when she wanted to take a loan and when they were asking her about you know the use of a credit card and all that and the guy said okay he's going to employ her in their company she applied sent her details and all that are you stupid somebody sent you a pay slip to show that you are earning very much and you didn't ask yourself how come this guy could you know walk a pay slip out and i didn't receive the money in my account and every all my details are there that should be a red flag on its own that this guy is up to something like how come you gave me a pay slip and i didn't receive the money and she went ahead stupidly to use it to show whoever she was showing that oh she and small so um she deserved the loan or whatever so after all said and done um the guy said then we want i want to, i want i want you to move in with me you should look for apartment and you went out looking for apartment like just easy this you and this guy have never talked about yourself you like it's so stupid okay fine she said the first night they laid together and she saw his back there were scars and all that so she asked him about it and he said uh, he went to prison in south africa because of um a, a friend betrayed him or something a bilonia son even if a friend betray you with the connection your father will have you won't even spend a night in that place if truly you are what you say you are they will even touch you the way his name was like because when they searched google his name popped out so if he's that famous as he claims to be he shouldn't be in that situation that they will give him all those scars on his body like that should be another red flag that oh this guy is up to something but she still went ahead stupidly and saying i've never seen a guy so vulnerable my sister you're the vulnerable one here because honestly i i won't i won't be angry when people say ah nigerian girls are hard nigerian girls are this it's good to use your brain sometimes you don't just jump into somebody like that because that's actually what happened to these ladies okay the second person i won't say that's what happened to her because she didn't go they didn't um you know move as lovers they were just friends and she was just trying to help a friend but at some point there should be level of things and you too you should also think before you do some things because that lady honestly she was the stupid one simon was just you know cashing out from a stupid lady because you 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 saw a lot of red flags and you decided to sit and say eh, you are helping your lover your boyfriend boyfriend that has never sat down to ask you anything about yourself that has never asked you what you're doing for a living but all he thinks about is himself he told you hey, i'm this i'm going to this for this meeting i'm going to that for this that he never cared to know about you and when he told you oh let's move in together you don't even think like is that how desperate you are that you don't even know much about somebody you just start planning to move in with him just like that 
honestly i feel like a nigerian lady will not fall for this kind of thing or some might fall but i don't think a nigerian lady will go to this extent because at the end of the day all the loans she collected she said it was amounting to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and she's in that blah 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 if a Nigerian girl try first time, second time, she knew, she will know that this is a scam. She won't even continue, honestly. She won't even continue because thinking about it now, it's actually stupid. But anyways, I think I've almost spoiled the, the, the documentary for those that have not watched it. But in all, I would say that last lady, she's like, she's the MVP. She's the, she's the MVP. Because... After she found out what was going on with this guy or what this guy has been up to, she didn't just, you know, I know some ladies who call those ones that, you know, all these kind of ladies that let emotion rule over them. They'll be like, hello, eh, I know what you're doing. You ate this, you ate that, you ate scour, you ate this, you ate that. But she kept smooth. She played along, went to his place. When he asked her for money, she told him that, oh, she don't have money at, the, at the, that time, that but she can help him sell his designer's clothes because according to her she said she's into fashion so when she sees a designer where she knows one so from all the pictures um simon has been posting and everything he has been wearing they are all designers so she told him she was going to help him sell them and you know she went there carried everything put them online and see at least even if she did not make everything she gave to that guy but at least she did go empty-handed and for those people that are saying simon is wicked simon is this simon is that simon did not do anything wrong if maybe he was using another person's face to do them whatever he was doing that's when you would say he did something wrong he was using his face so it's not it's nothing wrong he met them in person they enjoyed too he took them to hotels luxury hotels fly them on private jets things they've not done before the guy even helped their life at some point with their own money so it's not like the guy really did bad thing if you will ask me the guy did not do any bad thing if he points gun to their head to give him money that's when we say he did bad thing but he asked money as a normal human being and them to they say yes i will give you because if they say they don't have the guy will not kill them he will move on to the next client but this one they said oh he's my boyfriend i love him he can't afford it he is the billionaire son so it's nothing to him i will do anything for him la, 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 la. So please, those people that are criticizing Simon should not. The guy just did normal thing that anybody would do. So it's normal. This is where I'm going to end this video for now. Nobody should come for me in the comment section. I just said my mind. You too. Watch it and say your mind. Anything you think, you can drop it down in the comment section. See you guys in my next one. Love you. Bye.